I'm making this video <clears throat> because I want to share something that I learned with all of you tonight. I'm currently participating in a local civilians police academy, which is sort of a, a weekly course. Each week we go and explore some new aspect of public safety and law enforcement. One of the things well, what we did tonight for our class was go to a local fire station. We got to work with the firemen and learn a lot about what they do and the uh, tools they use. And, and it's very hands-on. The whole thing is very hands-on. We got to put uh, fire gear on all of their turnout gear and and start roasting ourselves and all that while we tried to do these intensely physical tasks, uh, some of the physical tests which they have to perform and, and pass in order to be hired on and to maintain their certification from year to year. It was very interesting. Uh, one of the fun things we got to do tonight, though, was to bust up a car. We got to use the jaws of life, the uh, cutters and the spreaders, and a combo tool to rip apart a car. And it was fascinating. It was amazing to watch. It was fun to do. I got to test my Benchmade glass breaker pen. They let me bust one of the windows out. And that was an eye opener. But at the end of the course, I had forgotten I wanted to try something. I wanted to try cutting a seat belt with my knives because I've never done that before. So let me preface this by saying I have always been a plain edge kind of guy, a plain knife edge. They're easier to sharpen. They have been more useful in my day-to-day -day tasks for my entire life. I have always liked plain edges as opposed to serrated edges or partially serrated edges. I've never had the skill or uh, knowledge to sharpen serrations. Uh, they frustrate me when I'm trying to cut smooth objects like paper and cardboard and tape, which is, let's be honest, that's mostly what I cut from day to day is paper and cardboard and tape. And, and the serrations aren't super duper useful for that. So they've always, I mean, they look okay on some knives, they look menacing on others. Uh, some of them are very well done, they look very clean and nice. Uh, an example of that would be like the CRKT Fossil, I think. The VEF serrations look very nice, especially on that particular knife. Anyway, so having said that, I try not to be a knife hater, and I try to see the value in a lot of different styles of knives. So here we have two knives that I own. These are my, these are both mine. I, I bought them with my money. Um, uh, this knife here is the Benchmade Model 62 with the stainless steel handles and the Weehawk blade D2 steel. Uh, it's a very expensive knife. It's a very nice knife and it's an incredibly sharp knife. It's very, very sharp. This knife here I bought at the State Fair recently made by some company in China called Super Knife or something like that. Uh, I'll probably do a review on this knife in whole later on. I dislike a lot of things about it, but it looks kind of cool and I was just having fun on a date, so I wanted to um, I wanted to take home a knife as a souvenir. So this is the one that I took. It's automatic and um, I don't know very much about the materials. Obviously, State Fair knives don't necessarily come with a lot of information on that. I can tell you that uh, it's uh, made in China. Let's see if this will focus a little closer. Stainless steel made in China. Whatever. Anyway, um, it is what it is. I've been carrying this knife, using this knife day to day for several weeks now. And it's been suiting my needs. I, I feel like the best knife is the one that suits your needs. And this has been doing just fine for me. This is the knife that I play with. This is what I fidget with from day to day. And this is the knife that I use to cut open boxes. It's been very good. So anyway, I've had this question in my head for a long time. Uh, I sell knives and I sell serrated blades and plain edges. And I wonder, or have wondered, about the effectiveness in cutting a seat belt um, of serrations versus a plain edge. So I wanted to know, I wanted to find out with my own hands, with my own knives, that I know which one cuts a seat belt better. So in my class tonight in this uh, Citizens Police Academy, we're breaking up this car, I had an opportunity to cut a seat belt. And I have 
I have here a portion of the belt that I cut. And I asked, so as we were walking over to the car, I asked the chief, I said, um, I told him what I was curious about. I wanted to know which would be more effective at cutting a seatbelt, a very sharp, plain edge. I mean, this thing is, is razor sharp. I wanted to know if that would cut the seatbelt better or if it would be the serrations. And he said, without hesitation, serrations. And I said, really? Oh, that's, you feel very strongly about that. I can tell. That's very nice. Uh, I wasn't convinced yet. Um, and I was convinced before this that a plain edge, if kept sharp, would cut a seatbelt just fine. I This is what I've learned. This is the purpose of the video. My eyes have been opened. It's not true. This sharp, this knife, as sharp as it is, did not cut the seat belt as well as this knife did. This is a $355 knife, retail. This knife I paid $20 for at the state fair. And I started with this knife. I started with the Balasong. And it took me several um, oscillations back and forth to get through the seat belt. And then, again, this is straight from a car. This is a car that we ripped apart with the jaws of life this evening. Um, this is not a piece of webbing that I went down to REI and bought and said, hey, let's do seatbelt tests on webbing. This is an, this is car seatbelt. And I had to take several swipes at that with this knife in order to get through it. It did not cut as well as I thought it would. So I pulled out my $20 state fair knife with some serrations on it, some dumb gimmicky serrations, and one pass. One pass cut right through the seatbelt. I mean, with, with minimal resistance, minimal resistance. I was amazed at how effective the serrations were at cutting the seatbelt. So this is the message I wanted to share with you. Don't, don't make your judgments before you've tried something. I forever have been fairly anti-serrations. In fact, if they had had this knife with no serrations at the state fair, that's what I would have bought. Um... So, having used the serrations on a seatbelt with my own hands on a car, my own knives, the serrations work better, hands down. For any of you in a law enforcement capacity or public safety, I, from now on, I'm going to highly recommend that you get a knife with a at least partially serrated blade. Because if you have to cut somebody out of a car and use this knife as an extrication tool, the serrations are going to make a world of difference. I had no idea. This knife is not as sharp as my Benchmade. My Benchmade is much sharper. But the serrations worked way better. Way better than the razor sharp. Whoa. Sorry about that abrupt cut. My phone stopped recording right in the middle of what I was trying to say. I get, What I was trying to say is that the serrations cut way better than the plain edge. Way better. Sorry about that break in the video there. Sorry about the shaky video. I don't have a tripod yet, so I'm just doing the best I can here. But I hope that you got something from this video. Maybe it opened your eyes a little bit. My eyes were opened tonight. It was, I had no idea that serrations had such a purpose in the world. But they do. And now I'm okay with them. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to let me know if you have any suggestions or videos you would like me to make in the future. I'd be happy to hear them. Have a great day.